Here we are in a misty forest as I grab my controller because I can't remember if it was controller or not for this game. This, I don't know if I would specifically call it a horror game, but it's a like creepier game and fits the uh, motif of Halloween. This is Limbo. Limbo is a very fun game. It's a kind of 2D platformer uh, puzzly game where you have to pay attention to the background and everything to kind of figure out like where you're going, what things are, and kind of how to do things. Also, it's not showing me like any prompts. <laughs> I'm just kind of pushing buttons, but uh, it's working. Anyway, again, Limbo is a game I've had for quite a while. I got it soon after it came out, and I just I've never actually played it on the channel. But it's a fun game. It's really, really good. Really well made. It really has like the creepy vibes going for it. Like really, really well. And it, I, I don't fully remember like the full on story of it, except you're like this kid who has to just keep going. Keep going and you kind of fight things not not really but kind of um i think i need to pull the boat ashore so i can use it to get up there climb and climb and then climb this wall jump and grab Kind of has like dangly, dangly reflexes. Not reflexes, limbs. I don't know what I'm, what I'm saying. Don't remember if. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't remember if I can switch sides of that thing or not. But it doesn't really matter. What matters though, is I'm in kind of a misty, spooky forest, and that's a bear trap. You're not really paying attention to it. Uh. It'd be bad. Because there's two of them and you have to jump over them. Yeah, it's it's not even like, oh, hey, by the way, you need to like push it out of the way. No, you just straight up just leap over them. But you have to you have to really pay attention to like what's going on to know like that. See, I exploded. I <laughs> I flat out exploded. So it's like, oh, hey, yeah, maybe, maybe if I pull this down here and I do that, oh, look at that. Now the thing is lighter and you can climb up because the bear trap uh, pulled off whatever, <laughs> whatever that was. Don't really know. Kind of been eaten by other animals. But it was a, a thing. Now you're like, oh no, there's a rock. Very fuzzy rock. But that's fine. That's fine. We will just... We will just keep going in this landscape of... Have kind of dark. Dark and spooky. As I said, it's not really like a horror game so to say but it's a very um spooky game oh yeah i forgot you can't you can't swim forgot that so that is why this pushes like that Thought that's what you did. 
Obviously not. So, because that doesn't work, we need to look around for maybe another option. I don't think there was anything here. Yeah. Nothing here would work. But you notice, you can't really pull that box or push it into the water far enough. But nothing is stopping you from pulling it the other direction and using it as a stepladder. So we will just come over here, climb up whatever this is, go down so I can swing, because that is another aspect of the game. I think I'm close enough. Then I can get up here, get over here, kind of time your jumps. It's it's actually fairly lenient on what it allows you to actually do. But there we go. I can do that. There's a vine there. I don't know if I've ever. I don't think I've ever like come up here. So I don't actually. I've gotten these things before, but I don't think I ever actually got that, that one. Anyway, I squished it. Let's go back the way we came from. Don't really want to fall too far, but now we have a log. And we can push the log. So now this will float and will give us plenty of space. Make that jump. And we can keep going. Keep going deeper into this random forest. And we can see there's a bear trap up there. Why is there a bear trap up there? <laughs> Maybe because of this thing. You're like, ooh, that doesn't seem very safe. How about how about you? How about you try and like squish the ground again? Oh look! You could hear it go clank. Which hasn't fallen down yet. But that sound to let you know that, hey, you probably need to do something with this creepy, creepy thing. There we go. So I'm going to jump over that and I'm going to push it because I feel much more comfortable pushing it than pulling it. And then it's like, oh, hey. How about we do that? No, no. I broke it. I broke it. Come on. Come on. And again. Ah, I forgot about that. Forgot it like tries to really stab you. And that's another one. So as you can see, like the bear trap is broken now. So yeah, it's fine. So you can, you can keep going. You can keep going away from whatever that was. That creepy, creepy monster. I'm just a little bunny rabbit. I hop and hop and oh no, oh no. It is like webs from a spider that I might have uh, just like ripped its legs off of. Oh no, I am, uh, I'm caught. Caught by the spider. And there's nothing I can do.
Yep. So all you have to do is wiggle. But now because you're covered in web, the other web doesn't like really affect you. So your job is to get away while uh, covered in spider web. But you also need to be careful of that, which I was trying to do. So when you move, you hop, so you have less precise movement. And if you hold down the A button, you'll you'll jump. So I mean, like I said, you don't have like super precise movements. So you kind of just really need to get by and uh, there we go push that get out of the way <laughs> get, get out of the way oh uh, this is a very unforgiving game it really is okay so push that Push, push. One more. Come on. There we go. And now I can get out of the way. Plenty far back. Enough. And I can keep going. I like the fact... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I like the fact that I'm still covered with the spider web. So yeah, now you're on this boulder and it's just one of these things where you have to stay a little off center to roll it forward. But if you look back there, there might be a, uh, a friend trying to join in on this. So yeah. You need to you need to stay ahead of the spider. I don't know if you can actually like really get this going and have it like a decent speed, but it's not too hard to do as long as you pay attention and you just keep it going. But yeah, Mr. Spider there is like, oh, my meal. But yeah, <laughs> you, you just need to get through there as quick as you can. So now I am alive again. I have a little bit of spider web on me, but that's fine. The rest of it is off. That fell off. That was a dummy. But yeah, so if you can see, there's like, there's traps set up now. And it kind of seems like, you know, other people may be setting these traps. And that may not be completely wrong. But why would they be setting those traps? Who knows? But yeah, it's it's a, a puzzly platformer type of game. <laughs> I got squished. I don't remember if you're supposed to wait up here or you're supposed to jump over. I think you're supposed to jump over. Yeah. Jump over that. Then jump there to not get impaled by those other things now we go we just go forward oh look that doesn't look right that looks very much mechanical it's like oh no but yeah I mean you can you can play with this too. 
So you saw there was a, another another person that ran by. Oh no, I am I am on fire. But yeah, as I said, very unforgiving game. But you notice other people even aren't that uh, nice. So we do this. We know there's a second one that they throw. That is much smaller. This one you can jump over. And then you just kind of avoid that. But yeah, so you have more people and they're they're not exactly very nice to you. Not exa exactly uh, welcoming very want to like murder anyone that's coming into their territory so we see this and he's like climbing away and I get squished I don't even get squished I get bitten I don't remember this part. Think, yeah, you just, you just avoid them is what you do. So these guys are like, oh, hey, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then this one, maybe you go under that second one. You have to get that one going, and then you go, yeah, this way. So now you have this rope, which you can climb up, because there's a couple bear traps there that's going to stop you. That rope gets pulled away, so you can't follow him. But then you also have... Oh, I can't even grab that one. I was going to grab the bear trap and bring it with me. Nope, not going to let you. So we just go. As you can see, Mr. Uh, Leggy Boy over there is not too thrilled about, about us leaving its den. Not very thrilled about us leaving its den. This, for a while, I got didn't really get stuck on this part. But it was very like, ooh, I have to wait. And it's not very comforting knowing that you had to wait for the spider to like help you over the thing. Goodbye, spider. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. So that's what you do. That's what you do. You have to be scared of a boulder. Scared of a spider. Gotta just keep going. Deeper and deeper into the woods. But that's fine. We can just keep going. I don't remember because I've beaten this I just don't remember the end is the big thing that's why I don't remember I don't remember the end of the game oh no Mr. Leggy Boy but yeah now you're now you're kind of stuck but if you notice uh, Mr. Leggy Boy only has one leg though he's still pretty pretty proud of the fact he only has one leg <laughs> but but um ugh. Ugh, gross oh why why would you this is so gross why would you touch its face like you can tell where its face and eyes are, and it's like, oh nope, I'm gonna I'm going to touch it. But 
There we go. Get rid of Mr. Leggy Boys there. And we are now pretty much in like a new section of the game with more people. That's kind of weird. Leave. Yeah, I was going to say you do that and that breaks that down. And you can push this box. And that box will allow you to get up here. There we go. And you just go. You just go. And more squishy things. But water, like we know, is uh, not my friend. But here we see that uh, these little slimy things, the thing that I squished earlier, um, they control people. It's not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. They can control people. But with that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get squished. And that's going to be the end of uh, Limbo for now. It's a good game. It is. It's very atmospheric. Just just like uh, Lone Survivor. Very atmospheric. Very, very good horror game i'm not sure if i would like really consider it a horror game but it is very like a creepy game but it's a very good game so i would again recommend anyone to pick this up and actually play it because it's a really really good game but for now i'm going to be done with another good game <laughs>